All right, guys, thanks for tuning in to another episode of Fork Over the Ring, where we all know the way towards man's heart is through his stomach. And today, or this week in general, we're going to be doing something a little different, and we're going to be making a few of the Bob Burgers original recipes. This is the Blue is the Warmest Cheeseburger, and it's from Season 5, Episode 9, which is Speaky Rider, Speaky's Rider, whatever. It is pretty much like a buffalo wing inside of a burger. So we're going to start off with cutting up three stalks of celery. Then we're going to go through and cut up half of a large onion. And you're going to chop these all up pretty small. Um, for this recipe, I actually got a box of um, recipes. And I picked the top three that I liked them, that I thought I liked the most. From my Looch Crate subscription, so I will definitely link the website down below if you guys were interested in getting that subscription. Um, every month they focus on a different cartoon or action movie. Um, pretty much anything nerds like me like. <laughs> but anyway, um, so we're going to start off with our first sauce because there are two sauces that we use. And for the sauce for the buffalo, we're going to start off with two-thirds of a cup of Frank's Red Hot Sauce. Um, half a stick of butter, two tablespoons of white vinegar, and you can use anywhere between one-fourth to one teaspoon of cayenne pepper. I used half a teaspoon. I like it spicy. I would have used a full teaspoon, but I was sharing with people and I didn't want them to die. So <laughs> go ahead and mix that up, and then you're going to let it cool to the side. And then you're going to start on your cheese sauce, which is the best sauce ever that I am going to start putting on every freaking thing that I cook. And it starts off with a half a stick of butter. Then you're going to go ahead, and those onions that we cut up earlier, we're going to go ahead and add that to this mixture. And with those onions, you're going to cook them pretty much just until they start to get soft. So for about five minutes or so. Um, but of course, first let all your butter melt completely. And I go ahead and I help it out a little bit. But add that onion, and you're going to let them cook for again about five or so minutes. After the onion, then you're going to go ahead and you're going to start with your flour um, to make the sauce. So with the flour, you're going to need two full tablespoons of all-purpose flour, and I'm whisking it in quickly so that it can really blend in with the onions and we are not dealing with dumplings in there. Then you're going to go ahead and slowly add in, as you whisk, one cup of whole milk. And as you can see, we have the sauce almost done. Then we're going to add a full cup of blue cheese crumbles, and you're going to go ahead and let that all mix in until everything is nice and melted. And it takes you literally about 8 minutes tops, 10 minutes maybe, to make this sauce. Um, then you're going to start with your beef. This is a full pound of beef. I'm going to add all my celery. I've already added in some adobo seasoning and Cajun seasoning. Then um, you add half the mixture of the hot sauce or the buffalo sauce you made. And you're going to mix it together. I will say, if I make this again, I'll probably add breadcrumbs to it, make it a little thicker or maybe more meat. Because the sauce did make it a little loose. But go ahead, um, the recipe does act that you salt and pepper both sides. I do it because the recipe said it, although I did already added some seasonings to it. So add your salt and pepper to both sides and you let them cook. I like my burgers well done. Or at least this kind of burger I like well done. So I go ahead and I cook them for about five to seven minutes on each side. And you always make your patties bigger than your buns. <laughs> you always make your patties bigger than your buns because they're going to shrink a little bit. Like I told you guys, this um, the meat was a little loose from the hot sauce being added to or the buffalo sauce being added. So it did break up on me, but who cares? Because if you're cooking for Bay and you're cooking for him good or her good, they could care less if it's broken up or not because it's going to look cute on the bun and it's going to be good to their stomach. So break on, player, break on. Anyway, after you go ahead with your meat and it's all done, I'm going to take my griddle, wipe it down, add a little butter, and I'm going to toast those buns, baby. And after you toast your buns, you can go ahead and start the building of your burger. For the burger, um, I didn't follow the rules per usual. So you're supposed to do lettuce, meat, then cheese. I did lettuce, cheese sauce. I don't know what I was thinking. Then meat. I was texting a boy. That's that's what happened. I was texting a, a stupid boy. I added my meat to make up for it. I added my cheese on top, added some hot sauce. Then I layered on more cheese and more of the buffalo sauce. And then that's really it. You add your top bun and your burger is done. This is like a great burger. It's just like having buffalo wings. It's amazing. Um, let me know if you guys like this recipe. Let me know any ideas you have if you make it. And please like, comment, and subscribe. And follow me on Instagram at DreamWithNick. Thanks for watching.